Hi, I'm Tita Josie, and today I'm reacting to episode four of The Tuxedo. So in episode three, Sichol was still very much unable to convince Aun to create a suit for Nawi. But by the middle of the episode, um, you know, Nawi kind of figured out that if he could get Aun's sympathy, then he can go ahead and create a suit for him. So what he did was that he actually whacked Sichol on the head, which I'm not happy about. But it did convince Aun that Sichol was, you know, in need of help. And Aun is now agreeing to help Nawi out with getting a suit done. But the thing is that Aun does not want to go to Nawi's home. Nawi has to come over to Aun's tailoring shop. And Sichol doesn't know how that's going to be done or he didn't know how to do that in the episode because apparently Nawi went through some trauma when he was younger and he hasn't left his home since. So what he did is that he whacked Nawi on the head in return and that's where we ended the episode. I don't know how to feel about all of the violence that is going on in the series but I'm still willing to give the series a chance. So just to let everyone know, I can only post highlights of my reaction on YouTube, but the full reaction will be available on my Patreon. So I'm gonna head straight into episode four now, and I will catch everyone after, see you in a bit. Oh my God, like... Sichol seriously oh, brought him unconscious <laughs> to Aeun's tailoring <laughs> shop. My God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we. Oh, oh. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he might have a freak out. Oh, I think he's having like a panic attack. He's having a panic attack. นี่ผมอยู่ข้างนอกเหรอเออดิคุณยืนดีๆหน่อยคุณนาวีใครดีครับอึ๊บอึ๊บอึ๊บโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้
something really is wrong with him medically because your nose d doesn't just bleed like that. I mean, you know what? Like, what he went through was traumatic, but oh, 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 I really feel for him. He really has like a lot of issues. I mean, don't get me wrong, this does not excuse his aggressive and violent behavior, but. But I understand him. I have empathy for him. Mm. อืมพวกเราก็คิดว่าคุณเป็นหนักขนาดนี้ขอโทษนะอืมงั้นเดี๋ยวคุณจะกลับเลยมั้ยเดี๋ยวผมไปเรียกสีชนให้เดี๋
Mm. Ay! <laughs> Sorry. What? But like, this is very distracting, chap. <laughs> oh. Ay! Oh my god, why? Ay! Oh. Okay, why are we sipping his blood? Uh, oh, I mean that—that that is a little bit freaky, Nawi. <laughs> oh my God, this is it! This is it! <laughs> that was kind of intense. Oh. <laughs> oh. I Sorry, Aeon. I knew you'd feel something. I felt something. So for sure you felt something too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, what a rush! <laughs> oh, next week. Ay! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, these previews! These previews! Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, you know what? Like... Like I said when I was reacting, right? I understand where Nawi is coming from now, and it always helps. And I think it's okay to always empathize with people, but I still wish that he would, at some point in the series, apologize for all of the things he did to Sichol, the way that he's been like so aggressive and so violent, you know, because. I really would just like to hear an apology from him, okay? Because Sichol did not deserve to be treated in the way that Nawi has been treating him. But I do understand Nawi now. So I really appreciate the episode for showing us that. And not only did they show us the background of Nawi, but they also showed us Chop's chest a lot of times. We got another kiss. So it was a great episode. So thanks everybody for watching my reaction to episode four of the Tuxedo. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.